Hey guys, today I'm going to tell you how to measure the amount of sulfite in your wine. So you're going to need a few um, odd chemicals to really do this. So you need 0.01% um, sodium hydroxide, you're going to need 3% um, hydrogen peroxide like you get at the drugstore, 25% um, phosphoric acid, and you're going to need this um, SO2 indicator stuff. And you're probably wondering, where do I get this? Um, there's some places. You can get it. most of the stuff you can find online. You can dilute it yourself if it's not in the right consistency. Um, there's a company, More Wine, it's called. They sell all this stuff, so um, you can find it. The other thing you're going to need is just two containers that fit a um, cork with a hole and also an aquarium pump leading to a couple of those corks and, and you'll see how I use that here in a little bit. What you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and take um, 20 milliliters of the wine that you want to test and you're going to add it to the larger of the two flasks. So I've got a syringe here that I've marked wine so that I don't mix it up and what I'll do is it's a it's a 10 milliliter syringe, so I'll have to do two, two squirts here. So we'll do 10 milliliters. I'm, not, I'm gonna try to not splash it up too bad because I don't wanna blow off any of those sulfites. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is um, put 10 milliliters of your 3% hydrogen peroxide into your smaller flask. So these are just Erlenmeyer flasks. This is a um, 150, this is a 50. The size, I think you can deviate a little bit off that if you need to. You can actually buy a full kit to do this as well, instead of piecing it together. All right, so we're gonna take 10 milliliters, hydrogen peroxide, put it in here. And of course I'm using my other syringe marked peroxide because I don't want to mix the peroxide with the wine because what peroxide does is it rapidly um, oxidizes those sulfites so they'll virtually just vanish if you add some peroxide to your wine here. Um, so we've got that. Next we're going to go ahead and add um, our SO2 indicator to the small glass bottle that we've just put the um, peroxide solution in. So it should turn a magenta once we do that. So I'm just gonna add three, probably three drops here. Just enough to change the color. So we'll go one, two, and three. There we have it. Got our magenta solution. Don't know what magenta means, but that's magenta, I guess. All right, and then next we'll just basically take our 0.01N um, sodium hydroxide and we'll add that drop by drop um, with a separate little dropper I've got here. So we'll add that drop by drop to the um, our small container here. And we'll do that until the solution turns green. So it doesn't really matter how, how many drops it takes at this point, you're just adding enough to turn it green. So here I'm just going to connect my um, tubing and we're just going to get everything ready because it's all going to happen pretty quickly here. So I'll click connect my aquarium pump. Alright. And then I'm going to go ahead and add 10 milliliters of my um, phosphoric acid mix here and I'm going to go ahead and use the syringe I've marked wine for that. Just keep these separate wine side, peroxide side. So we'll do 10 milliliters. And 
as soon as we add this, we're going to want to cap it. So we'll cap it, and then we will we will turn on our pump. And we've set a timer here for 10 minutes. So in 10 minutes, we will um, come check on it. We basically got both of our solutions bubbling here. And what we're doing is we're bubbling the um, SO2 over here into this other thing where, where we can uh, accurately measure it. So what should happen, and it seems to be happening, is within a couple minutes, um, our green bottle should start to turn back to the magenta color. Um, so that would indicate that we do, in fact, have sulfites. If that doesn't happen, um, you can just go ahead and assume that there are no sulfites in your, in your wine. So here it's turning back. And like I said, I'll come back in 10 minutes, and uh, then we'll move on from there. All right, so it's been 10 minutes, and um, what I'm gonna do now is I'll pop the, the stopper off of my smaller flask here. And we will take our um, sodium hydroxide and fill one of our 10 milliliter syringes here with it. So what we'll do is we'll use the peroxide syringe because that's the, because we're going into the small, um, container that had peroxide in it. All right, so we've got 10 milliliters here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add sodium hydroxide to this until it turns back to the original color, which is that green color. And then we'll just mark how much we had to add for that to happen. So we're at one milliliter. It's already starting to turn actually. We'll swirl a little bit. 1.5. A little bit more and we'll be right at where we started. So it looks like we're at about two, two milliliters brought us back to that green color. So um, to calculate the amount of free SO2, we just have to take that two milliliter number and multiply it by 16. So that would be 32 um, parts per million of um, free SO2. So the pH of this wine here is um, 3.4. And there's a chart available um, that will tell you the required free SO2 at whatever um, whatever pH you're at. So at 3.4, I'm looking for about 35 parts per million to protect, protect this wine from oxidizing. So um, what I'll do is I'll, I do still have to rack this one more time and then I'll bottle it today. So um, what I'm gonna do then is I'll probably add about 15 or 20 parts per million because we're still, we're still gonna be sitting at about 50, which is way, way under the threshold of when you could ever taste any sulfite. So I'll bump it up to about 50 parts per million, and uh, then I think we'll be safe to bottle and, you know, rock and roll shouldn't have any issues. So that's how you test your sulfites.